वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस सी अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द चैप्टर सेट्स क्वेश्चन इज बेस्ड ऑन ऑपरेशन ऑफ सेट्स बेसिकली हेयर टू ऑपरेशन आर देयर यूनियन एंड इंटरसेक्शन सो यू सी हेयर क्वेश्चन इज इफ सेट ए इज हैविंग एलिमेंट्स थ्री फाइव सेवन नाइन इलेवन सेट बी इज हैविंग एलिमेंट्स सेवन नाइन इलेवन थर्टीन सेट सी इज हैविंग एलिमेंट्स एलेवन थर्टीन फिफ्टीन एंड डी फिफ्टीन एंड सेवनटीन then we have to find out a intersection b b intersection and so on okay so let us do these questions one by one very simple and interesting question let us start with first here we have to find a intersection b it is always convenient if we write down these sets completely so set a is having elements 3 5 7 9 3 5 7 and 9 intersection सेट बी हैविंग एलिमेंट सेवन नाइन एलेवन थर्टीन सेवन नाइन एलेवन एंड थर्टीन वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ टू सेट्स एंड यू नो इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ टू सेट्स इज ए सेट विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ ओनली कॉमन एलिमेंट्स कॉमन इन बोथ द सेट्स ओनली दोज एलिमेंट्स विच आर अवेलेबल इन बोथ द सेट्स सो विल चेक दैट विच एलिमेंट्स आर अवेलेबल इन बोथ द सेट्स we will collect these elements and will make the set so you see here elements 3 is not common here 5 is not common 7 is common 7 in both the sets as well as 9 is common so this intersection of a and b will be a set having elements 7 and 9 this is the answer okay now let us see second part which is b intersection c b intersection c so first of all we'll write set b elements 7 9 11 13 7 9 11 13 and intersection set c having elements 11 13 15 11 13 15 15 here we will collect common elements from both the sets so 11 is common here as well as 13 is common so this set will consist of two elements 11 and 13 this is the answer here and third part of this question we have to calculate a intersection c intersection d a intersection c intersection d so we will write all the three sets here completely a c and d then it will be convenient to uh, collect the common elements set a is having elements 3 5 7 9 11 3 5 7 9 11 9 9 9 9 9 intersection set c having elements 11 13 15 11 13 13 13 and 15 and intersection set d having elements 15 and 17 15 and 17 so now here we have to find out common elements if any element common in all the three sets so you see that no element is common in all the three sets you see just observe it here element here numbers are up to 11 only here 13 and 15 but in this set 15 is there so 15 is available in this set but not available here 17 is available in only this set so no element is common here in all the three sets so this will be a null set an empty set there is no element in this in operation of sets or this empty set is denoted by phi also sometimes this is called null set or if you can say empty set or void set we have already discussed it in previous videos and next part of this question fourth here we have to calculate a intersection c a intersection c set a is having elements 3 5 7 and 9 and intersection set c is having elements 11 13 and 15 and for this intersection we collect 
common elements from these two sets. So you see there is no element which is available in both the sets, no element is common. So again this is a null set, this is empty set which is denoted by phi. This is the answer. Fifth, here we have to find B intersection D, B intersection D. So set B is having elements 7, 9, 11 and 13 intersection set D is having element 15 and 17 15 and 17 and we will get answer by collecting all the elements from these two sets and we will form a set there. So there is no element common in these two sets here. So again this is a null set, this is a phi set denoted by phi. This is the answer. Now next part, sixth A intersection B intersection C in bracket, A intersection B intersection C in bracket. So first of all let us write all these sets so that conveniently we will do it. Set A is having elements 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 okay and intersection here b intersection c is inside a bracket so we'll put a bracket here then set b is having elements 7 9 11 13 7 9 11 and 13 and uh, intersection set c is having elements 11 13 and 15 11, 13 and 15. So first of all we will evaluate this part. So this is a set having elements 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 intersection this set which intersection of these two sets. So here we will collect common elements here from these two sets. Common elements are 11 and 13. 11 and 13. Okay. And this is equal to again intersection of two sets. So we will collect again common elements. So this is a set having common element. Common element is 11. This is the answer. Very simple. Let us see next part. Seventh. which is A intersection D, A intersection D, set A is having elements 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 and intersection set D having elements 15 and 17, 15 and 17. So again you will collect common elements for operating this uh, intersection in two sets A and D. So you see no element is common. So again this is a null set or empty set denoted by phi. This is the answer. And next part of this question, eighth part, A intersection B union D, B union, B union D. So let us write these sets. Set A is having elements 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. B union D is inside a bracket. So intersection B, set B having elements 7, 9, 11, 13. 7, set B, 7, 9, 11, 13. And union is here, okay? You see, union is here union again set D. So elements 15 and 17. This is 15 and 17. First of all we will operate this part which is kept inside the bracket. So here union is there. So we will collect all the elements from both the sets 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17 and set A is here. 
with elements 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Un intersection, not union. Intersection elements, collect all the elements from both the sets 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17. 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, and 17. Again, intersection is here, so we have to collect only common elements. So, 7, 9 and 11 are common in these two sets. So, this set will consist 7, 9 and 11. This is the answer. Now, let us see part 9. 9 we have to calculate here. A intersection B. A intersection B. And again intersection B union C. So let us write these sets A, B and C here. Set A having elements 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. So inside the bracket we will put this union 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 intersection. Set B is having elements 7, 9, 11, 13. 7, 9, 11, 13 bracket closed. Again intersection, next bracket, B union C. So set B having elements 7, 9, 11, 13, union C. So set C is having elements 11, 13, 15, 11, 13 and 15. Okay, so we will operate these two parts separately here. So this part here intersection is here. So we will collect only common elements. So common elements in these two sets are 7, 9 and 11. Common in these two sets. Again intersection and union is here. So we will collect all the elements from both the sets. So here 7, 9, 11, 13 and 15 and this is equal to intersection is here. So we will have to collect only common elements, elements which are available in both the sets. So this will be a set having elements 7, 9 and 11, 7, 9 and 11. So this is the answer here. Question number 10, this is A union D. A union D intersection B union C B union C so let us write these sets set A is having elements 3 5 7 9 11 3 5 7 9 11 union set D having elements 15 and 17, 15 and 17, again intersection, B union C, so set B is having elements 7, 9, 11, 13, 7, 9, 11 and 13, now here union is there, union set C having elements 11, 13, 15, 11, 13 and 15, okay. Now we have to find union of these two sets. So we have to collect all the elements from these two sets. So here elements will be 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 15 and 17 intersection here also union of two sets so we have to collect all the elements from both the sets so this is 7 9 11 13 and 15 here we have to 
find intersection of these two sets. So, here we will collect only common elements. So, let us check which elements are common. 7 is common here, 9 is common and 11 is common as well as 15 is common. Correct? So, intersection of these two sets will be a set consisting of element 7, 9, 11 and 15. 7, 9, 11 and 15. So, this is the answer for this part of this question number 10. Okay? So, we can do these questions very easily. Questions are very simple. Just we have to remember that in case of union, you collect all the elements from both the sets and in case of intersection of two sets, we collect only common elements from both the sets, only those elements which are available in both the sets, we can get intersection of two sets. So, we have done a lot of practice on union and intersection of sets. I hope that you have understood it very well, you got a command over this topic and we will see some more problems in other videos too. Thank you very much for watching this video, wish you all the best.